And good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, little Creators Corners people. <laughs> the cat just walked right up on the counter. You can do it. You can jump. You're a cat. She's not a very athletic cat. Uh, Improbable One shared a few awesome pictures. I've been doing a lot of pictures for social media lately, thinking a lot about outside pictures, especially sunset, because that's a huge thing here at the beach, like the sunset over the water. So this was really nice, sunset photo over the river. And then a really cool time, time lapse of the sun and clouds. And his comment was just how much you can do in foam. It is, it's amazing. I mean, this, this is my tool. I shared on my Facebook Live, Ford playing violin with Anthony Peebles, House of the Rising Sun. Always love it when they do it. It's awesome. So you guys can enjoy that now. Another link in the Creators Corner subreddit was from Judah, cover of a police song merged with Radiohead's Weird Fish. It's all done with a loop machine. I don't really know the police song. The Radiohead part was very good. I preferred to just hear the Radiohead part. <laughs> we also had another link from an improbable one, basically just showing the symmetry in Sherlock and how often you know we use the rule of thirds in filmmaking, and you don't really notice it when you're watching the show, uh, but the show definitely has a very stately feel in which you really get a sense of the space. Things are in squares a lot of time, or rectangles. An exercise in symmetry, my dear Watson. Next, I'll plug our podcast, the Reverse Redaction Podcast, with me, my buddy Judah McNeil, and my buddy Stephen Sandridge, in which we discuss Black Panther. In addition to the Black Panther Review podcast available on iTunes, Reverse Redaction Podcast has a YouTube video, an hour and 20 minutes, of endless banter about Natalie Portman's annihilation with Judy McNeil, Jared Putnam, and yours truly. It is a delving into the dark underbelly of post-apocalyptic, transubstantiational art and stuff. Check it out. Right, but we're trying to speak in ways that lots of people can understand. <laughs> Why did I forget that he was Poe Dameron? <laughs> uh, yesterday, Kara had reminded a second week in a row about Mozart in the Jungle. Symphony Life in New York for a classical music buff, someone who's playing in an orchestra now. It was uh, it was pretty good. A little risque at times, if that's offensive to anyone. You get some really good music. My favorite thing so far was Listomania Symphonicized. The Phoenix, I guess the name of the band. I don't even know. I just knew I heard the song on these indie radio stations. Melissa listens to all these, you know. It's one of these kind of bands. I have a whiny voice. Oh yeah. It turns out I like the subject of that song because it's about Franz Liszt and they actually came up back in his day it was like Beatlemania. I didn't know that about List, and so he was like this rock star back in the day. So they end the episode with that song Listomania, but it's symphonic. It's a little catchy tune there, so that was pretty good. Also, Kara in the live stream shared this, harp metal. <laughs> Kara, I wanna hear some harp metal. If you've got anything that has inspired you creatively in music, film, writing, the arts, do let us know in the Creator's Corner subreddit. Until next time, keep it creative.